Hey guys, it's me, Greg, also known as the Gamer G, whatever you want to call me. And today we do have another squad builder. This is the squad of Liga BBVA, Bundesliga, and Aston Villa. And I do apologise for my dog again. Um, and you might be wondering why Aston Villa. Well, because they have some beast silver players, as this is a silver squad builder. So I'd mix it up a bit, and if you have the coins, definitely pick it up. It is 60k, I do believe, but it's well worth it. So, enough chit chat, let's get into this team. At goalkeeper, we do have Farman, or Fahman. He has 77 diving, 78 reflexes, 71 handling, and 73 kicking. And this man has saved my ass a lot of times. Packed him. He's six foot five. He's got the acrobatic save technique, and he's right footed. So that it, the, I mean, the right foot doesn't really matter. But this guy is just amazing for me. We carry on on the Bundesliga thing. We do have Kirchhoff. Kirchhoff did cost me three thousand coins. He's six foot five, medium medium uh, work rate, so that's decent. And I mean, this guy's a god. I mean, six foot five and seventy four heading. This. He, he's, he, you're not going to beat him in the air, let's just say that. He has 72 pace, 74 heading, and 75 defending, accompanied with 670 passing. So, like all teams, these this team will help get the ball from back to front in a very short space of time. Now, moving on to the left, set, left back, we do have Panda. And look at that card. Just take it in. And that, oh, tastes so good, make a grown man cry. It cost me 3,800 coins, which is an absolute bargain. I've got high medium work rate, six foot one. And let's just have a look at that card start. 71 pace, 72 dribbling, 75 shot, 73 defending, 79 passing, and 70 heading. That is possibly one of the best silver cards on the game. It is just absolutely unreal. And then we do have Bayer at centre defensive mid. Lost my bearings there. Cost me 1,100 coins. <coughs> Pardon me. He, I mean, he, he's pretty average. Let's. He's pretty average. I don't have anything to say. 76. Oops. 70, 60, 68 pace, 75 dribbling, 72 defending, 60 shot, 75 passing, and 67 heading. Pretty average card, but he does fit in there quite nicely as he has got good defending stats in game. And at centre back, you might have already seen me cross over him to get Kirchhoff. We do have Okuru, Okure, whatever. I packed him and. He is just a god. 76 pace, 46 dribbling, which is, I don't know why I read that one out. 72 defending and 84 heading. This is an this guy is an absolute rock at the back. Nothing is getting past him and you're pretty safe with him at the back. At right back we do have Loton. Matthew Loton, if you can remember. I think he was the guy who scored that insane volley either the start of this season or last season in the Premier League. Anyway, he has 73 pace, 71 dribbling, 74 defending, and 71 heading. If his shooting and passing was up 10, he would be probably a rare gold. He's just an absolute god on the game. He bombs up, gets the crosses in, and his defending isn't half bad as well. So at the other centre defensive men, you might have seen me cross over him as well. It is Fabian Delph or Fabian Delph. Cost me four thousand nine hundred coins. He's left footed. He's five foot nine, and I mean he's pretty average as well. He's got eighty pace, seventy nine dribbling, sixty seven shot. Which, to be fair, that feels so much better. And seventy two passing as his main stat. So he's a pretty good card, but. Not the best, but now here here is where the real fun starts. At first camp spot, we do have Uchi 
I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's from like Nigeria and is it Villarreal? Yeah, Villarreal. He is, cost me 3,800 coins, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot and he is an absolute genius with the ball. 86 pace, 78 dribbling, 74 heading and 66 shot. I mean, he just knows how to get behind the players. So now let's move on to his partner in crime, which is Jonathan Pierre. He did cost me 4,400 coins. He's five foot six, so he's an absolute midget. But apart from his size, he is an absolute god on the game. 91 pace and 81 dribbling as his main stats. 61 shot as well. He is... A fant he if he was a right mid he would be fantastic because of that 91 pace and I mean the two cams on the wide do feel like wingers but they also squeeze the play so they are very good at doing that and at the other cam spot we do have Rabello I mean I looked on his card and he looked quite decent and then I didn't see the five foot four but, you know, I thought, let's give him a go. And to be fair, he was really good. I mean, 4-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, 2,400 coins, so that's a bit of a bargain. 81 pace and 81 dribbling, 73 passing and 63 shot. So there's nothing really to shout about, but this guy does help the main man up front. And by the title, you probably guess it is Jesse Rodriguez. And OMG, Jesse Rodriguez Ruiz. This is the. He is just amazing. 40,000 coins, that's why this team is so expensive. I mean, it's 4 star week, but 4 star skill moves. He is just an absolute. I mean, he's just. I said just a lot in this video. He is amazing. With a Hunter card and 87 pace and 85 dribbling, you can't go wrong. He has 72 shot and 53 heading. That 53 heading should be about the same as his shot as he does score so many headers. And that is all I have had to say with this team. So now I've talked for too, mu too long. Let's get into the gameplay, guys. So guys, into the gameplay we go. And... Sorry, my voice is a bit deep, but as you can see, this this team is an absolute beast to play with. There's so much pace, there's so much energy, and there's just amazing strikers. Like, look at that power header, boom into the top corner. No stopping Jesse Rodriguez, who is probably the best player on the team by a country mile. The whole team did play quite solidly. There was a lot of good pass and play, very fluent. And I just overall enjoyed my three games with this amazing team. As you can see, one good through ball there in the 107th minute to slot it in with Jonathan Piera. And he is an absolute beast on this game. Don't know if you heard that guy raging, but I found that really funny. He's an absolute god on this game. So fast. He's got a blistering shot. And I just overall love him. Now... The two centre defensive mids were absolutely outstanding. They just held everything. You couldn't get past them. They were just rocks. The back four, very... It was quite slow, but you know what? They did the job. Nothing got past them, almost. I mean, it was stupid at how good they were. And I just can't fault them. And like, like I think I said, the diamond at the top was just unstoppable so much pace so much energy and so much finesse and Uchi could get him in you can get him in form as you can tell but that's a bit glitchy there sorry about that my PVR has been messing up for the past few days and Uchi does cross it in on to Jesse Rodriguez's head if I'm not mistaken and then again Fabian Delph takes a cracking shot of the post and Jesse Rodriguez is there to power on home Jesse Rodriguez is one of those players who is always in the right place at the right time and that is why he is a fantastic person for this squad. Now guys, if you have enjoyed this squad builder, please do drop a like, subscribe, favourite, all that good stuff and it has been your boy.